Hello, everybody. I am going to begin a video series in which I demonstrate custom snap circuits projects, which I will make from parts from many different sets I have. You can see I have lots of parts here. But I am going to start off small. I might focus on simple projects that work with lights, but you never know how I'm going to sort these projects out. So without further ado, the first custom project I have is a 4.5 volt flashlight. All I'm going to do is place the white LED over the battery holder and then when I put the third battery in, a very bright light will come on. If I turn this light off, you can see how bright it is. It illuminates much of this room. So it could be a very small compact flashlight. Now realize there's no on off switch. You'd have to take one of the batteries out or remove the white LED to turn the light off. Don't stare directly into the white LED because you could possibly hurt or damage your eyes. But you could take this like if you're hiking through the woods or in a, just walking through a dark area of your house, like a basement or attic, and you can't put on lot other main lights. Here's a switchable flashlight. It's running off of four AA batteries, which produce a total of six volts. And when I turn on the slide switch, the white LED comes on. Now I can turn it off simply by moving this switch instead of removing the batteries or the white LED. And I use a smaller grid, not the full size one, so it's easier to carry. And also you may be able to hold it. If you had some string with you, you could even like tie it around the open spaces on the grid and hang it around your neck. So you don't have to hold it if you're like, let's say hiking in the dark. All right, here's another version of the mini flashlight, except now I'm going to use a six volt incandescent bulb instead of the white LED. It's running on 4.5 volts of power altogether. And when I put the bulb in place, in this case, it comes on. I can turn off the main light to see how much of the room it illuminates. Now, it doesn't produce near as much light as the white LED. However, it may concentrate, it may scatter the light more evenly over a small area. And if you could find a way to clamp this over a book or reading area, this could be a good book light because it is not too, too bright. And actually the light is quite pleasant. I like these kinds of lamps because of how evenly the light is scattered. To turn off the lamp, you'd have to either remove one of the batteries or the lamp itself. All right, now we're going to have a an incandescent flashlight that can be switched on and off. This is just like project two, except we're using the six volt incandescent bulb and it's going to run off of six volts of power. Make sure you never ever exceed the voltage that the lamp is rated for because you might permanently damage it or ruin it. But I'm gonna turn on the slide switch and the bulb lights. Now it's gonna be a little bit brighter in this project than it was in the previous project because it has 1.5 additional volts of power. Now it illuminates a little bit more of the room. But again, the light is more evenly scattered over a smaller area. And if you wanted to, you could wear this around your neck if you had some string to tie to the grid. But you still may not be able to hang it at an angle in which it's directly over a book you might be reading. 
but that's a, a simple principle of a flashlight. A lot of flashlights use incandescent bulbs, although most modern ones use LEDs because they're brighter, more efficient, longer lasting. Here is the portable Christmas light display. Because it's almost Christmas, I think this would be a great time to demonstrate it. I have both a red LED and a green LED. They're connected in parallel. And when I turn on the slide switch, both light up. This might be better to see in the dark. Now they're not bright at all, but they give an idea of how they can be used uh, in a Christmas light display. Many real life, displays use light emitting diodes like these. Now, I'm sorry that my camera doesn't pick them up well, so this is just gonna be a brief video. This project is the patriotic light display. I have the red, white, and blue LEDs in parallel, and when you turn on the slide switch, they all come on and they will show the colors of the United States. Because And this may be a good prop or decoration to use for 4th of July, at a 4th of July event or parade, party or event, other event, or even Memorial Day. This is what I'm going to call the steady traffic light because it has all the colors of a traffic light, red, yellow, and green. But when I turn on the slide switch, all of them come on and they are steady. They don't blink or change, but you could use this to teach children, especially about the different colors on a traffic light and what they mean. Green means go, yellow means slow down, and red means stop. Here are the three primary colors, blue, yellow, and red. You need to combine at least two of these three colors in any combination in order to produce the colors that you see around you. You can create the secondary colors or the tertiary colors. I'm going to turn on the switch and you see blue, yellow, and red. And can you think about what would happen if you, let's say, combined blue and yellow, yellow or red, or um, blue and red? Or what about all three colors combined? Share your thoughts in the comments. Here is the full color light show with all of the solid color LEDs that I have, green, blue, yellow, red, and white. I'm gonna turn on the switch, and here they are. And you should be able to see all of the colors clearly from this angle. Which one of these is your favorite if you have one?